Hey what is going on guys and today I will show you how to master the specialist rune in Call of Duty Black Ops 4 where I am going to cover how you can use the grass slam and the grapple gun effectively. Welcome guys to Gamescript Network, my name is Sanders and Rune is really my most fun specialist to play in the multiplayer. The gravel gun is just really fun to fly around the map and catch people off guard and doing some nice outplays and if you eliminate a lot of enemies with the grass slam then the feeling is just amazing. Although some say it's not that useful, I get where that is coming from, the grapple gun doesn't kill anyone and you have to be up close to use the grass slam. But still, if you know how to use your grapple gun effectively, it can be very hard to kill and you can easily get close to use the grass slam. His weaponry is the grass slam where you sl will slam the ground and kill anyone in its radius and his equipment is the grapple gun what can be used to zip to a location. For his grass slam what will let you perform a jump in the air and then slam the ground and will destroy anything in its radius including equipment and score streaks. But keep in mind that it won't go through walls but you can still use it in the water. The grass slam is really good for taking out multiple enemies within objectives or buildings. The jump you will perform will make it harder for enemies to hit you because it's pretty fast and the weird jump you make will jump you mostly out of their aim. You can also just use it as a last resort to not get killed if you need to re reload or enemies come in your back. The grass slam is kind of risky because you need to be up close to kill enemies with it so best way to get close to people is use cover, corners and also if you combine the movement with the grapple gun it will make it a lot easier to get close to enemies and slam them to their graves. For the grapple gun what makes Rune the most fun specialist to play it will simply zip you to a location you shoot it. It's pretty fast and if you can get the hang of it, you can make good use for it. So little tips on how it works, the grapple gun has a really long range and if you aim it, you can see the white circle if you can use it. And if not, there's going to be a red circle before it if you aren't in range yet to use it. The cooldown of the grapple is very low so you can pretty much use it all the time. You can cancel the hook by jumping during the zip and also looking to the sides will stop it but this makes it more usable because now you can use the zip to get very high in the air and jump on the enemy to get them by surprise. This makes up for tricky outplays and makes it really fun to use the grapple gun. Always use the grapple to get higher up and get behind them and not use it directly to zip to the enemies because that doesn't work at all because they will just start shooting at you because they can see the zip line and during the zip you can only fire from the hip and that isn't that great. So always use it to get higher up, jump off and aim your gun from the air and kill them. You can use the grapple gun in the water and also when you're in the prone position. So that's kind of handy to know. The grapple hook is also nice to get to areas on the map that are normally hard to reach by foot. For example, you need to move around or you need to climb on it. And with the grapple it is much easier and faster. The grapple can also help you get out of dangerous situations when the enemy is going to push you. For the game modes, what doesn't really matter that much where he is good in, you can play him anywhere and depends on how good you are using a grapple and the grab slam can be good to clear out objectives. And for hardcore it doesn't have extra stuff, although you can make some nice plays with it, but for the game modes, there isn't really any mode where he is the best in. He is just natural in all of them, but there is one unique thing that can be useful in round based game modes. There is going to be a cross path where you meet enemies in the rounds and with rune you can get there much faster and already prepare yourself where they're coming from and kill them right before they even get to the cross path you usually need on foot. Best way to play rune is just to get handy and familiar with the grapple and you can basically play him anywhere and also using a shotgun with this guy is really handy because with the grapple it is much easier to get close. For the grass slam use it to clear out objectives or just protect yourself from enemies equipment and score streaks. But for me it is just fun to play him in general so if you want to not be all serious you can just play him and make some funny plays. So guys, that is all I have to share about Ruin. If you like playing him, if you have any more tips and tricks to share about him, then let me know in the comments. But that wraps up the video. I thank you guys for watching. If you find this video helpful, don't forget to hit the like button. And if you want more gaming videos like this one, then you could subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell so you don't miss anything. But I see you in the next one and have an awesome day.